if we were to start anywhere, Mose, I want to hear how you first got into biomagnetism, because as I understand, you have your own personal story of overcoming some health issues, finding biomagnetism, and then going down that route and, and continuing to learn from the, some of the greatest people there are about this subject. So can you start there for us? Absolutely. So uh, back in 2001, I graduated from UC Santa Cruz, having completed a holistic health uh, program there. And I remember thinking back saying, hey, I learned everything I need to know now so that if I ever get sick or my family ever needs anything, I've got it all in here. That's it. I'm set for life. Because I had learned so much about natural medicine and natural resources. And boy, was I wrong. Because um, in my late 20s, just somehow my body started acting weird. And none of the herbs, none of anything that I learned at the university to apply to try to solve this problem, it didn't work. So I started looking outside, going to other professionals. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people go through this, you know, looking for this remedy and the next best thing. And there you are spending a, a fortune, a little mini fortune, seeking a cure. And, you know, part of you then says, well, I guess this is what it means to get older. I guess this is how I'm going to be the rest of my life. Because a couple of weeks turned into months, and then it became years, four and a half years of just feeling miserable. Anything I ate, I felt that I was going to explode. It could be a salad, it could be a fruit, or it could be, a, a, you know, meat. It all felt the same, and it was really frustrating. So someone asked me, I, I met this uh, nutritionist uh, doing a, a, she was giving a course, and I was curious. I said, and she asked me, hey, since you're in the holistic health field, what's, what's your belief about magnets? What's your opinion? And I said, oh, yeah, those things don't work. <laughs> and the reason I said that, because I had purchased these fancy uh, shoe inserts, magnetic ones, that I had been wearing the whole time. And I was told that they give you great benefits. And, and uh, I still felt the same. So I didn't, I didn't dare take them out either. I just always wore them. But that was what I said to her. And she said, no, no, I'm talking about something completely different. And, um, and, I was, and she said, I'll take you to someone. And so we met. Uh, he was a, he's a dentist a former dentist, he gave his practice up and he was telling me that with biomagnetism, you're able to cure people of all sorts of things. It sounded way too good to be true, but I submitted myself to the process. And, and you're right, you know, people, uh, you know, because you don't really feel anything. You think maybe nothing's happening. But we're so used to pills and ingesting things, but there's these magnets on you. And I was going through that experience. Oh, another one of those natural things. And, and about an hour later, my body just starts flushing out. And from one day to the next, my problem that had been there for four and a half years completely disappeared. And that's how I got into biomagnetism. I said, oh my God, this is God sent. I, I need to do this. This is my calling in life. And so that's how I ended up in, in medical biomagnetism. Like with a lot of things, it's experience, right? Versus the evidence. Because you could say, even if you went on and you looked at the evidence, especially if it was very clinical and double blind placebos, you know, you could find stuff on biomagnetism, but the general consensus of someone who's never heard of it before would say, that's not going to work, right? I have done like serious medicine before, right? I've had hard pills and I've gone to the best, you know, specialists at the top universities and they, they said it wouldn't work for me, then you experience it totally different. So I will say experience trumps evidence in that case, and you notice that for yourself. Now, when we go into biomagnetism, can you explain a little bit of what that is? Because people are familiar with magnets. You learn about them in school, you learn about you know lead iron kind of fillings, and you go around north and south poles of even the earth are magnetic fields, but Biomagnetism adds that word bio in front of that we're all familiar with in biology. So can you go into someone who's never heard of biomagnetic therapy before and just break it down maybe in the simplest terms right now to, to start this conversation? 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I, I always try my best to explain it to people when they come to my office for the first time. What? Because everyone has that. Well, what is it? And how do you help someone understand in the easiest way possible? Uh, you know, the way the way I like to describe it is is like, hey, look, like, consider the body a, a, a sack of water. We are water, and when you know things like virus and bacteria and fungus and parasites go into your body, they distort that the biochemistry. So your your pH or potential hydrogen gets distorted in, in specific cells and organs and glands. And so you'll, you'll have this phenomenon, this is why our science is called the biomagnetic pair science, pair referring to a simultaneous pH distortion taking place. So, um, you know, let's just say E. coli, for example, just, just as an example. Um, you know, it'd be, it's part of your intestinal flora, but if it goes out of where it's environment, then it becomes infectious. Then now what it's ha what's happening is it's creating a pH distortion, for example, in your thymus gland and in your liver. And so, you know, just to use that as, as a basic example, then how do we get rid of that infection is that we then get two magnets and we're going to apply a negative field to one part of the body and then the positive to the other. And since those that energy is inter interacting with the pH distortion and it's canceling it out or, or you know bringing it back into harmony. And so it neutralizes your pH. And as a result of neutralized pH, then those microorganisms die. Mm. That's kind of it in a nutshell. And I think the main thing there, and this is what I took away, when we introduced it in our center many years ago, uh, we actually considered it terrain therapy, terrain restoration therapy. And that's because if you look at anything, my father always talks about this, so much of the human function, so much of what we can, our terrain, what goes on side of us depends on two things, right? Temperature and pH. And most of us, for, for most cases, temperature is pretty you know, stable unless we're running fever or we're cold. And then of course we have to look at that. But for the large majority of people, it's the pH that is off. And the pH of course determines your environment and what can live there, what can thrive there. And pathogens really enjoy a lot of time, either acidic or different alkaline environments, mostly acidic, but that's where we kind of looked at it as how can we help restore the proper terrain in this understanding of germ theory versus terrain theory that so many are bringing up, especially in a pandemic of looking at inside what's going on that allows things to thrive that would be negative to the body. So we, you know, considered it a terrain theory. Um, do you see, uh, I'm sorry, a terrain therapy? Do you see it as the same when you utilize biomagnetism that you're trying to adjust the terrain, the pH there? So that it is an optimal state. And that's where the pairs are coming in to adjust that through a magnetic field that then can change the terrain into a more positive one. That's exactly it. So we're just getting rid of pH distortions and your body reorganizes. It's phenomenal and it does its job once those, uh, you know, interruptions are, are, you know, for example, and going back to how I got into biomagnetism, well, it turns out, you know, the therapist said, by the way, you have uh, parasites. I didn't tell him anything, zero. He just went through his uh, process and that's what came up in, in uh, the results. And I was blown away, I have to say, because I had already taken anti-parasitic herbs and supplements uh, way before that. And that didn't do anything for me. It was through that uh, you know, pH uh, distortion correction that then it set my internal environment the way it should be. And that's what got rid of those microorganisms.